You know, I, I like Cheerios sometimes for breakfast, and um, I, I haven't eaten it much lately, but it's still one of my favorites. And it's um, I took some Cheerios because I wanted to try an experiment. It, it struck me all of a sudden that um, uh, the question, um, are there still living or s cells that look like the biological origin of the Cheerios uh, that are visible when you look at Cheerios particles. Um, I thought of this, uh, I mean, it's an interesting question in itself, but I thought of it as um, kind of an analog to exploring uh, other planets with uh, with cameras. Um, when you, you land a satellite uh, on, um, on Mars, for example, uh, you look for signs of life, and uh, what 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 actually do you look for? Uh, I mean, besides the chemical stuff, uh, uh, and uh, it's it's a similar kind of a problem. I'm landing on the planet Cheerios, and uh, I'm exploring to see if I can see anything that looks like it used to be living. Um, and uh, I I saw uh, I, I mounted uh, particles of Cheerios uh, one. Uh, a group of particles were uh, um, saturated in water so I could sort of flatten them out. And the other was I uh, used vegetable oil and, and sort of flatten them out. So there are two different sort of views of it. And um, uh, obviously right from the start I could see the components of uh, of the cereal. There, there seemed to be particles of, of different kinds of, um, um, well, vegetable substance in, in the in in the mix uh, and then all of a sudden I, I did see uh, something that looked like cells uh, it was a little fainter in the um, in the water um, um, thing uh, mount than it was in the oil mount but uh, uh, it's clearly that, that there were sections of pieces of cer of the cereal that still uh, contain the shape uh, of the original cells. Take a look.